Noah, you get me. I think you're the first man I've ever loved. Thought you had a date to go on. I do. When's he gonna get here? Whenever he does. He's just like a few minutes late. <sighs> I'm sorry. That is so rude. A real man would be more considerate of your time. You're right. That's why every year People Magazine names the consideratest man alive. <laughs> oh, man, you can make fun of me all you want, but when you grow up, you'll see what qualities make up a real man. Someone say makeup? I did. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, yeah, much better. You know what? I think I'm gonna shadow down here. Because this whole thing is really sad and pathetic. No girl wants a guy that tries this hard. If I got this video, I'd call the police. Some girls actually like guys who are nice to them. Some girls like 36 of them. There's 37 of them! Okay, this is passion. We can use it. Andy, pick her up. All right, let's just get this over with. Oh, my gosh, he's actually picking me up, Dad! This is for a minute. Now lock eyes and action. Honey, this is my long way of saying I miss you. But I don't have to climb a mountain or swim an ocean to be with you. Because you're always with me. My thoughts, my dreams, my heart. You deserve more than I could possibly ever give you. But everything I have is yours. I love you. God. That was beautiful. I really felt that one. Did you feel that one? No, I didn't feel anything. I was talking to Andy. I know. Put me down, freak. God. Huh. She's pretty. Ugh, she's the most beautiful creature inside and out. I'm just the luckiest guy ever to get to love her. Okay, she may be real, but no way you are. Who talks like that? You know, I hate when you say things like that because you are funny and you were pretty and you were smart in an original way. So why shouldn't a guy feel lucky to love you? Shut up, be normal. That is honestly the best photo anyone's ever taken of me. Thank you. You mind if I send a copy to Beth? Andy, um... When I read the text about your flight, I saw the text from Beth telling you not to come. Yeah, she doesn't mean that. <laughs> she said it's over. That could mean a lot of different things. Your phone's buzzing again. Oh my god, the wedding got moved up. I have to go. Andy, are you sure about getting on that plane? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. You know, she does this every once in a while. She just likes the drama. But I... Haley, okay. I appreciate your concern. I really do. But I've been in this relationship off and on for eight years, so I kind of know what I'm doing, all right? Thank you for the ride. Hey, Andy. Hey. Has the wedding started yet? Oh, yeah. Lots of times. What's up? Oh, nothing. Hey, that thing you said before about me deserving better, you just meant, like, in general, right? You weren't thinking of anyone in particular. Yeah, no, I, I just meant you deserve to be happy. And if it's this girl, great. If not, great. Um, sometimes the hardest part is just figuring out what you want. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, enjoy the wedding. Thanks, have a nice trip. Yeah. I'll see ya. I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong idea. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad we didn't take it any further, because clearly we are wrong for each other. Yeah, totally. We are way better as friends. Way. Like, imagine if we kissed or something. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. A huge disaster. <laughs> you would have been destroyed. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Whoa, Joe, what's with the snow on the roof? You're aging like a president. Um, when you said I would be destroyed if we had kissed, what exactly did you mean by that? Oh, gosh. I guess that is confusing, huh? Yeah. I just meant that you would have been emotionally ruined. What? Yeah, I don't understand it myself, but there was a lot of heat coming off of this. Girls do not get over this guy. I'm not calling myself a drug, but... I'm sorry, hasn't Beth broken up with you like 10 times? She's dying to get back with me, though. I wouldn't say it's withdrawal. For but... the record, guys don't get over me, okay? At last count, I have three stalkers. One of them has my face spray-painted on his van. I had to stand there forever while he did it. Okay. I didn't mean to imply that if we kissed, it wouldn't affect me. Are you kidding? You were so pretty and so out of my league. It would have rocked my world. 
Okay, then. It just would have hit you harder, that's all. Mr. Pritchard, your bath awaits. Are you prepared for a bum scrubbing today, sir? Oh, no. I said something wrong, didn't I? No. No, I'm just being stupid. Um, the point is, is that, you know, we're good, right? You betcha. Aw, oh, come on, don't be so formal. Come here, you. Well, I promised this little dude a bubble beard. Come here. Oh, don't be a stranger, okay? Mm -hmm. I guess some boys are a good distraction. Yeah, he could be exactly what she needs right now. And I don't know about you, but I'm sensing a little heat over here. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. Uh, this is so great. And thanks to you, Mr. Dunphy, I can finally save up and get Beth that engagement ring. Who's Beth? His girlfriend. Oh, so you two really aren't together. No. No. She's, like, weirdly obsessed with us. Oh, hey. Hey. It's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah, I've been putting a lot of hours in, trying to earn extra money for this wedding. Hola. I'm Dylan, Haley's boyfriend. Uh, hey. I'm Andy. I didn't realize you two were back together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're like magnets uh -huh. that sometimes take a break to date other magnets. What happened was we were together and then I was pretty hung up on you. <laughs> but once I got it down to only one woman in my head, I saw Beth in a whole new way, and we were able to move forward. That makes sense. I'm happy for you. Look at us, brother and sister, separated from oh, our mom. Oh, you're so good at that. Hey, what do you think about inviting Haley and Dylan to the wedding? I love that idea. And I love you for having it. Why do you think people stop saying Quinky Dink? Dylan, um... Oh, God. You're breaking up with me again, aren't you? I'm sorry. I just... I, I feel like Andy and Beth and everyone in the world are moving forward, and we're moving backward. Actually, we're stopping, because I want to get out of the car. Dylan, Stop! I'm, I'm tired of being jerked around. Now I'm moving forward, too. Can't you at least call an Uber? You know they banned me for talking too much to the drivers. Stop! What are you doing? You won't kiss me, you won't even touch me, and then I find Beth's uniform, so you tell me, okay? What do you do with it anyway? You, you snip it, you snuggle it, you put her on a coat rack and dance with it? I'm sending Beth's things back to her, and I got her uniform pressed because I love my country. So you and Beth, you... There is no Beth. There's only you. I'm just trying to slow us down a little. We kind of started this whole thing off in the middle. I just want us to catch up emotionally to where we are physically so we don't burn out. We're not going to burn out. I liked you way before we ever hooked up. I just want our relationship to be as good as our affair. I mean, we never even had a romantic first date. I know. Maybe we should wait for the perfect moment so we could start our relationship right. Something special and magical like in the movies. What do you want me to do, chase you through an airport? I think we got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know we didn't get to finish our talk earlier because of Alex's surprise pop-in. Listen, if you're not taking that job in Utah because of me, you're making a mistake. I love you and me together, but it would break my heart if I was the reason you gave up this dream career opportunity because, honestly, I don't know how much of a future there is here, but if our bond is as strong as we think it is, we'll work our way back to each other. But he said. So, this is the end of the line. No, no, I told you. You're gonna come visit, I'll come there. No, nope. I meant security. So, none of that messy stuff, because this is not goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, we'll leave the drama to those two. <laughs> Promise me you won't forget me, my darling. I love you until this pantsuit comes back in style. I don't regret a single minute I've spent with you. I think you're the first man I've ever loved. Not a single minute. You really are the first. <laughs>